I'm really excited to show you my new uh, custom brick. It's called Tab Anything. Here we have a demo that I put together. It's got three blocks sections, complete block sections that I want to animate. I want to be able to tab through these and uh, yeah, let's auto rotate them and um, add maybe some tiny effect to them like a slide fade or something. Just by giving these three target elements, these three block sections, a unique ID. We're able to control them and create this unique little slider um, in a matter of seconds, literally. Uh, it's really cool because the target IDs are a very simple uh, naming convention. We'll get into that later. Let's take a look at how I set up these uh, block sections to get controlled by a tab anything. So each of the block sections has a unique ID and that ID is what tells the tab anything instance, this is controlling that target element. And the individual buttons, one, two, and three, are controlled by these different numbers in the naming convention of the ID. So tab one means that that target element is controlled by a tab anything instance with the, with the index one. And those index numbers you see can change in the sidebar, you'll see later, um, you can change the index of each um, tab anything instance. So each of these are targeted by a tab anything instance with the ID with the index of one and uh, the buttons of that tab anything instance are also controlling each of these targets. The first button is controlling the tab one dash one. The second button is controlling tab one dash two. And the third button is controlling tab one dash three. So each button is assigned to a different target element via the naming convention uh, of the IDs. The different ways that you can set up target elements in tab anything. Um, before we were looking at different individual block elements, like individual block sections themselves. Now let's put everything in one block section. So here we have just one block section, an individual div containers. And so inside that div, I just put the brick, uh, a brick element like column brick elements. I just put a column brick, a two column um, brick element in there. And I did that for these three individual divs. So now these live all within one nice and neat within one container, within one bro uh, block section. So if we go down to our tab anything instance, and you're going to notice uh, that it has the number two on it because it is a um, it, it has the second index, the index two. That's because there's another um, instance on this page above. Um, but also, you, I didn't show you this before. Notice that each individual target element also has that number, that index number next to it. So I know that this target um, element belongs to this tab anything instance. Two, number two, these two things belong to each other and control each other. So let's take a look again. We're going to set up, we've got autoplay. We've got a slide in to the left. Um, every three seconds and we're using equal heights. Now equal heights will um, give us actually an equal minimal height that lets the container that we're controlling um, be a certain height so that we don't get jumpiness or um, different height containers that make the buttons move around. It's something you'll play around with and you'll notice is really, really um, useful to have. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and let's test this. I've already set it up over here and we get the scroll through. Nice effect. If we click on an individual slide, it stops the scroll. Of course, that's really useful. Once you've had a, a, a user click on a slide, that means they've invested in that content. They don't want to continue sliding. They'd like to either follow that link or read more about that. They can continue through the experience easily One of the coolest things about Tab Anything is just how easy it is to get different types of button groups and, and tabs and pagination dots and bars and all these different things that you can use uh, to create u unique experiences uh, for your web visitors. So um, it's, it's, it's so easy to do. I put this page together and I gave every tab the same index number so they all have the index one so that means they all control the content that's above the target elements that are above another great thing about tab anything is this optional mobile responsive drop down see on mobile and and, and narrow widths it can optionally uh, switch to a mobile drop down uses the styles that you give tab anything and also remembers and populate here we've got a few demos of different things that uh, i recommend using tab anything for this nice subtle effect can you know comes off really elegant on the site um, this uh, product grid uh, is a real simple uh, product switcher or um, grid switcher that you can adapt to any site. Um, here we've got a pricing table that's like a perfect use case um, for just showcasing different prices at different uh, um, intervals. Uh, we've got a nice little gallery here. We're using the thumbnail tab anything instances with the thumbnails.